So how you doing this afternoon? Oh, so the, the heat did not overtake your spirit yet. We are, well, we're here to lift the spirits even further. Welcome to the New Orleans Jazz Museum. On behalf of the staff, we welcome you here. We're honored to be bringing you an international act this time. She's an incredible bassist uh, from Paris. She's stationed there, but I remember talking about her coming here maybe over a year ago, being really excited to have her coming, y'all. She's going to kind of take us on a lunar odyssey with her music, y'all. Uh, we have Miss Celine Ami, and we're going to have them come up as soon as they're ready. All right, make sure y'all give them a hand, y'all.
thank you for coming out and hide from the heat with us. Um, on trumpet, Steve Lenz. <laughs> Alfred Jordan on the drums. <laughs> Gladney, tenor saxophone. <laughs> Caleb Summers on trombone. <laughs> and Shea Pierre on piano. So this is my last day in New Orleans. I'm literally leaving tonight. Um, it's, uh, yeah, I, feel, I feel sad too. I feel sad. It's, it's been a, an amazing journey here and I can't wait to be back. So I'm feeling a little, I don't know. I don't know what the term would be. Do you know what it means? <laughs> yeah, I can't feel like that. But anyway. I, well, I'm, 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 I was doing a residency, I am doing a residency still, um, on the links between the Caribbean and New Orleans. And as I was doing my studies, I met with um, the author of the book, Congo Square, um, and Freddie Evans Williams told me about these um, beautiful songs beautiful Creole songs from New Orleans. And so I figured oh, on my last day, we're gonna try to play some. Uh, and we, 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 we're gonna try, but the, the first one is called Quand monter dans grand chemin. Just the horns. <laughs> yeah, that's it.
so this one, hmm, how, how to translate it? I will not translate it. <laughs> I will not translate it. You go figure it out. No, I'm kidding. No, it's, it says, it says, when I'm, no, while I was walking on the high road, I'm trying a translation from C Louisiana old Creole into English, which is not even my native language, so sorry <laughs> in advance. Um, while I was walking on the high road, road, I met an old grandfather, and I asked him what time it was. And he said, it's past 12. Um, I asked him for some pinch of snuff. <laughs> some pinch of snuff. And asked him for um, a little something to sneeze on. A little tissue. And then, so he's, he's giving all the stuff. And that's terrible. And then well, she says, thank you. All right. <laughs> yeah, in the back, in the back. It's extra time.
So another another one of the of the Creole songs from New Orleans. So these songs, I took it from um, what's her name, Clara Godshock. She's Louis Moore's sister, and and so she remembered all these Creole songs that she had heard. I think while they were in Haiti or somewhere. I don't know. I don't really know. Um, so she had remembered all these tunes, and she wrote them down. And this is what's left. And so the forms and the, the writing is very simple, so it, it gives a lot of room for us to just play with it. And this is what we're going to do. <laughs> this one is called En Avant Grenadier. And so it would be, it's easier to translate. Of course. So go forward, go forward, Grenadiers. He who is dead requires no ration. 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 Go forward, Grenadier. He who is dead requires no ration. En avant, Grenadier. Sakimori n'a pas ration.
Let's call it Shehoza. Rosa. Those tunes are nice, the Creole songs. <laughs> Who can say no? Essayer les essayages ne me tourmente plus que les hauteurs d'un mois et fait. Patience.
improvise my thing. Dark. <laughs> sings full of regrets sour bitter notes that only you will get and the joy you used to feel is forever gone hills of memories and digging old bones. And I am no longer recreating the past. A heart that floats of broken dreams can only last. Black choir sings full of regrets. Sour, bitter notes that only you will get. And the joy you used to feel is forever gone. Harvesting hills of memories and digging
This is a mixture of two songs. Um, I mean, one song that um, I added something new that I wrote during this residency. Um, it's very, it's a very personal poem. I never read it before, but I was, you know, feeling like trying to share my last words <laughs> and my last thoughts from this residency. Um, that's been incredible. So, for a little backstory. I spent the weekend in New York, and I felt terrible about leaving New Orleans for some reason. I don't know what y'all do, but it was working. <laughs> I felt really sad. I didn't want to go, and um, and so I ended up I ended up going, of course, because um, I had an engagement, and I was I was feeling a little depressed, and I was writing poetry as I'm always do, as I always do. Um, I ho always have my little black book and I write stuff and so I was on the train and I wrote this poem that I just read and a black choir sings full of regrets sour bitter notes that only you will get and the joy you used to fear is forever gone harvesting hills of memories and digging old bones and I am no longer recreating the past a heart that floods of broken dreams can only last And ultimately, I came back to New Orleans. I'm feeling much better. <laughs> anyway, I think this is this is this is us finishing soon. I guess. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Once again, Steve Lyons on the trumpet. <laughs> Alfred Jordan Jr. on the drums. <laughs> Shea Pierre on piano. <laughs> Gladney on tenor saxophone. <laughs> Caleb Summers on trombone. <laughs> Who just joined today. <laughs> yes. An amazing job. I'm forgetting how to. Hey, hey, hey. 
Put your hands. Thank you. Um, I'd like to thank the Jazz Museum for having us um, twice this month. It's been um, a very beautiful space to work, to get to know each other, to practice, to rehearse, um, and to explore, because the space is, is beautiful. And so I'd like to thank, to thank the whole Jazz Museum team, thank you everyone. Uh, and yeah, I wanna say thank you to the people from the consulate who brought me here for this amazing residency. So I know some of you are in the room, I see one. <laughs> uh, so yeah, thank you for this and and yeah, I, will, I hope to be back. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Once again, folks, thanks so much for coming to the New Orleans Jazz Museum. That was Celine St. Ami. Be sure y'all check into nolajazzmuseum.org for future dates. Till then, peace. Thank y'all so much for coming. <laughs>